Cafty family. Cafty? I don't know what Cafty is, but I meant to say crafty. We're crafty. Hee 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 hee. Okay, so today for the Creative Arts Collaboration January hashtag YouTube event, it is hashtag color of the year art. And for today, I'm going to try to stick to the colors, but I, I'm sticking to the colors in some, it, it, mostly, mostly I am. I'm just, it's hard, but I'm doing my best and I'm sure it's fine. But I want to make something that I've never made on my channel that I love to make and have lots of supplies to do it, but seem to have like gotten out of that area of crafting for some reason, even though it's one of my favorite things to do. So I don't know. And I sell a lot of it actually. So, and this is also going to be a giveaway. So what I'm going to make right now, I'm going to give away to one of you guys, to somebody that's in my family very dear to my heart. So if you don't know what the hashtag events are, it's the Creative Arts Collaboration is a group on YouTube of people like me who like to do arts and crafts and create and do various things. Um, and we put together this hashtag event, which basically is a theme every month. And once the theme is chosen and we have a certain date that we put up videos. So for this one, it's between the 20th and the 24th of January. And so all the artists in the group will put up their, you know, version of the theme that is chosen, which is color of the year art, which is actually two colors that were chosen by uh, Pantone, which is like, they're like the official choosers of the color of the year, which I'm not sure what that means, but they choose the colors of the year. And this year, the colors are Serenity and Rose Quartz, which is like a light shade of blue and a light shade of pink. Really pretty colors. Um, that's an example there. It's probably not coming through the video as pretty as they actually are. But um, so that's what all the artists are doing. So if you want to see all the different art that people have created, all you have to do is in the search bar, put hashtag color of the year art and all the videos will come up for everybody that's involved in this collaboration, which is pretty damn cool. So today I am making earrings. I got my jewelry doodadder and I'm going to make a couple of pair of earrings and my inspiration are these two adorable skulls. Now this is yes, more teal than it is the Serenity Blue, but it's as close as I had. This one's more close, this one's pretty close to the rose quartz color, but aren't they adorable? They're little kissies, mm -hmm. they're little skulls. So I've got two pink and two of the tealy kind of blue colors that we're gonna call Serenity Blue for today. Um, and I'm going to make two pairs of earrings using these, and I picked out some beads out of all my beads. Um, and I'm gonna make two pairs of really cute earrings, and I'm going to send a pair to two people two of my crafty families. And if you've never made jewelry, earrings are the easiest way to step into this because earrings are easy, like super easy. And you don't need that much stuff to make earrings. You need some um, head pins, eye pins, whatever they're called. Um, you need some of these doodads, uh, various si you can get various shades, various sizes. I'm just going to use these antique brass color because I really dig it and then you need um, let me make sure that these are going to work because sometimes the holes on these little skull dudes are a little big and the head of my thing will go through it but I don't I don't think that'll be a problem no good um, obviously you need two of these of whatever color or size you decide to do uh, for each pair of earrings so I'm getting out four. And then you also need a variety of jump rings. Depending on what kind of earrings you're doing, you'll need jump rings. And you will need some earring wires or earring hooks, which I have these. And I'm going to use the antique brass. I'm gonna get four of these so that I have them out and ready to go. Okay, and then lastly, you're gonna need some tools. The three main tools you're gonna need for earring making are a pair of wire cutters, a pair of flat nose, 
pliers. They're like flat on the inside and pointy on the outside. So I don't know if they're pointy pliers or flat pliers. I don't know. And then you're going to need the round nose pliers, which these ones are kind of, you know, cone shaped pliers. Um, so I'm just going to show you a very basic way of making a pair of earrings. Very easy, very basic. So you start with your wire and usually what I do is I take the largest element so if that's a bead, it could be a bead, it could be your charm type of thing, which in this case it is. So I'm going to do the pink ones first. And you take your largest element and you put that on the bottom. That's what I do. You can do it however you like it. These are going to be kind of dangly earrings. And then I usually just kind of play around until I get what I like. Um, and I've got these little bead caps. And... That might be too big for that one, but I can put it underneath of there. And you just string them on however you want. I'm trying to think if I want them. I want the bead cap on there or not. I might not put the bead cap on there for that one. Or actually, I might use these little bead caps that are on this side. I did get two of them. They will be cute. I like dangly earrings. I don't know about you. So I could take these little, and these are called bead caps because bead caps, and they come in various sizes. Like they look like little cups, and you could put them around your beads to add a little fancy element to them, like that, which is really cute. And then I've got a couple of little itty bitty beads. I'm going to make them super dangly, so whoever gets these, I hope you like dangly earrings. And I'm going to put one more of the tiny ones on, and I'm going to call that done, just because I think they look cute like that. So, I don't know about you, but I think they're adorable, and I think they'll be cute little dangly earrings. Um, so, you want to leave yourself room at the top. This is a good amount to leave. Um, and basically, this is probably just a little too much. I might even take a little off of there. Woohoo! And then I usually grab them with my round nose pliers, grab right at the base, so it looks like that. And then I bend this over. I bend it over so it's at a 90 degree angle, okay? And then I'll take my bead, uh, my round nose pliers and get the very tip of that wire, so it looks like that. And you're going to just roll it back on itself and you might have to and what's going to happen is you're going to get a perfect little loop at the top. You'll get a little loop at the top. And that's what you stick your jump ring in, which will then, my earring wire will go on. And you don't want to just put the earring wire directly onto this because it might not sit right. So it's always good to use a little jump ring between them. So that's one. See how fast that was? I mean, it's like, boom, easy breezy. So now I just follow the same pattern, which of course the second one only takes seconds to do because, you know what, in my dumb butt, I gotta grab something real quick because I forgot those little bead caps. Hold on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, I had to get, I have to get two more of those teeny tiny little bead caps because I used two of them in those earrings and I didn't realize I was gonna use both of them. So there we go, I'm gonna do that. And I can't remember which bead was it. Yeah, it's that one. And these are like a really pale pink, but they don't look pale pink, obviously, on camera, because they bar almost barely look pale pink here. But they're very pale. And then, what did I do? I put this tiny bead, which again, I don't have. I guess I didn't get that bead. Hold on, let me grab the beads. Okay, sorry about that. Not prepared. So anyway, you just keep going and you add your beads the same way you did on the first one. And it goes by quickly. And then again, I'm going to cut off a little bit. I'm going to grab that at the top of the bead, bend it over at a 90 degree angle, grab the tip of it and roll it back. There are other ways of doing it, but this is the easiest way I found to do it that is like a no fuss. So now you've, now you've got your two earrings pretty much almost done. So at that point is when you incorporate in your jump rings. 
jump rings are pieces of wire, round pieces of wire with one little slit in it. Or you can, there's other kinds of jump rings, but those are the basics. I won't go into all the different types of jump rings, but I'm gonna grab two little, little ones. Um, let's, see. let's see. Because there's also these that are called split rings and they're like, they look like little key rings. But I'm not gonna, I don't like using those because they're kind of a pain and they're hard for my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna grab two of these really tiny jump rings because we only need tiny ones to connect the earrings. Sometimes you need bigger ones, but for this instance, I only need a really tiny one just to connect the earring wires on. And I've got this ring that has splits in it, so it helps me close jump rings. And I'm gonna show you, and I just dropped my earring thing. What did I do with it? Whale hail. It might be too small for me to get it in there, but I'm going to show you the proper way of opening a jump ring here in a second, but I got to use a bigger one. So I'm going to put these on and then I will show you how to open the jump ring properly because people actually, I see a lot of people all the time opening them the wrong way. And there is a right way and a wrong way to open them, believe it or not. Alrighty. It can be a little fiddly when you're dealing with tiny things. I usually wear my glasses that I don't have in front of me. But that's okay. Whoops, I might have screwed up my jump ring. We'll leave it to me. Let's see, I'll fix it. See if I can fix it. This one's being quite difficult. Well, don't fall down. Okay, that's good. So here are our earrings. Are they not the most adorable thing ever? See how qu quick and easy that is? Very quick, very easy, and it's done. So there's pair number one. Now real quick, let me show you how to open and close a jump ring properly. Okay. So here's the jump ring. This one's a little bigger, so it's easier for you to see. Now if you look at it, hopefully my camera's focusing. It has a split in it right at the top. What you want to do is you want to open it twisting like this. You don't want to pull it apart like this. So you want to twist one hand back and one hand forward. That's how you open a jump ring, like that. Okay? Because if you split it open, you're going to have a lot harder of a time getting it back in shape because it actually screws up the shape more when you pull it apart. Whereas this way, all you're doing is pulling it that way and then when you're ready to, all you have to do is bring it back. And like this ring, this is how this ring works. It helps you do it without hurting my arthritis, which is really cool. And you can get these for like two bucks at Joann's. Um, so that's how you open a, a jump ring properly. Okay, so let's go to this dude. We're gonna do basically the same thing. I'm gonna put him on the bottom of the head pin. It's called a head pin because it looks like a nail and it's got a head on it. And the other ones have a loop at the bottom. So I'm gonna put him on. I'm going to take, let's see, I'm gonna take one long bead. Actually, I might stick one of these little doohickeys. I got Hmm, I'm not sure I like that so much. Let's see. Maybe I'll just put the long bead on there. Whoops, and drop it on the thing. So let's see what that looks like. Because you can always change it. I mean, you've got plenty of time to change it if you want to. Um, before you close it up and do all your hooks and... I might actually put this little guy on there. So I'm doing the same basic concept, except, you know, just different beads like that. I think that looks really cute. What do you think? Isn't that adorable? I loves it. Okay. And this one I can mm, cut off just a tiny bit of this one because I do need most of that. And then again, after you get it on there, Bend it over to a 90 degree angle, grab it at the tip, and pull it over. And there you go. There's one. 
Now we'll do the other one. It's very easy. Earrings are the best way to get started in jewelry making for sure. Did I forget some of those little beads? I sure as hell did. Let me go grab some of those now. Okay, grab two more of those. I have a tendency to do that. If I try to plan ahead and have everything here, I always will forget something. I can't help it. I'm a hot mess. I usually have all my jewelry stuff like sprawled out all over the place big mess I usually make when I do jewelry I have a lot of jewelry stuff like these plastic containers this one has jump rings and this one has the other things but I have about 30 or 40 of them that are filled with beads I have a lot because <laughs> I was really into jewelry making for a while okay so now I just make sure that it is the same yes it is the same now I can cut this down a hair and grab it at the top, end of the top bead 90 degree angle grab the tip roll it back until it connects it takes a little bit of practice but it's very simple and so I'm not using those beads I'll put those back but I got my tiny little jump rings and I'm going to open it going like that and I need a, another earring wire because I dropped one on the ground. And we're going to put the jump ring on. And, and having a jump ring between these instead of putting it onto the, directly onto the end makes it have a dangly effect a little better. And then I'm going to use my ring because my fingers don't work to close it. <laughs> and there's one. And... Grab another jump ring. I can open them easier than I can close them. And here's the other one. Look how fast we made two pairs of earrings. Isn't that amazing? Those of you who are who know about, you know, are good or know how to do jewelry making and are good at it, you guys know how fast it is. Hold on. Okay, so now we've got two pairs of earrings. So if you are interested in winning a pair of these earrings. Um, it'll just be randomly, I'll just decide randomly which one you get. But, um, just, you know, obviously be a subscriber, like my video, and comment. Just say, I don't know, say something. Comment. Tell me about, you know, if you've ever done jewelry making and if you're interested in doing jewelry making or what type of stuff you like to do. So, yeah, that's it. I'm not going to make it complicated. And I will... Get, I will uh, choose a winner, and if you wouldn't mind putting your email address this way, I can email the winner. I'd appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I will announce a winner in a few days. I'll just randomly, when I make an, another video in a few days, I'll announce it. So, or maybe you know, I'll leave it open until I'll leave it open until the twenty fifth. I'll leave it open until the 25th. That's the day after the end of the hashtag event. So on the 25th, I'll announce the winner in a video. Um, and I'll also contact the winner. Um, so leave your email address if you don't mind in the comments. Um, awesome. So I hope you like this video. I hope you go around and check out all the videos from all the other artists who are making awesome videos. Don't forget to check out my last video, which was about the mixed media mashup cards. And um, I've already gotten a lot of requests for cards. If you are interested in uh, me sending you the file so you can make your own cards um, and have fun with this game and, and join in. And uh, cause sometimes I'm gonna do it on video and I'm hopefully gonna do it on some like live uh, events maybe do some of these uh, if you're interested in the in this you got to email me if you don't know about it go check out my last video about the mixed media mashup and check that out it's really fun it's so much fun I was doing it again last night and I was having so much fun I did it obviously I didn't have cameras rolling because I just felt like playing with it I had a blast I really did I had to stop myself and like go okay time to go <laughs> time to stop now because I just wanted to keep going and going and going so um yeah definitely uh 
set, um, yeah, leave a comment if you're interested in winning one of these pairs of earrings. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure you do what you love, love what you do, and be nice to everybody. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.